thousand RPM. <laughs> oh, it's just oh, it's such a fantastic feeling. Hey guys, Johnny here. Welcome back to our channel. And today something slightly different. As much as we are car fans, a couple of the Ultimate Road Trips crew, including myself, love bikes. You join me on my Triumph Street Triple RX. Overtaking. I'm gonna do something fairly snappy. Just take you through the reasons why why I bought the Street Triple RX and the bikes I've owned and so on. So starting off four years ago, I was passing my local Triumph dealer and outside they had a demonstrator of a Triumph Daytona 675R. It was beautiful. Sexiest bike I've ever seen. Carbon fiber all over it, only in suspension. It just looked the nuts. Long story short, I bought it. And the crazy thing about it is I, I, <laughs> I hadn't even passed my bike license yet. Actually, at, at the time, the funny story was um, I went back home to tell my girlfriend about it. No, she wasn't best pleased, but I sort of said at the time, oh, don't worry, darling, it's not a fast bike. It's, it's you know, it's, it's fine. It's a sensible decision. And... Uh, the following day my fast bike magazine came and what was on the front cover it was my bloody 675r that i just purchased <laughs> so that got me into a bit of trouble yeah anyway I, I hadn't passed my my bike license when i bought the bought the bike and i managed to persuade my older brother matt uh, to go on an intensive week's course with me um, which proved to be absolutely fantastic. Would recommend it to, to, to anyone that, that uh, wants to just get on the bike, get riding and, and uh, cut the whole process short. And, but one thing I will warn you is it was intense. <laughs> and managed to pass CBT, my theory test again, mod one and mod two. Uh, I'd say mod one was the the most difficult, and um, after I I passed, went to go and collect my 675R from Triumph. I just loved it. Sort of fell in love with Triumphs from then on, really. Um, then after my 675R, uh, I owned that for sort of a year or so, um, which if any of you have followed our Instagram channel, you'll know is quite a long time for me. And uh, I ended up thinking, oh, do you know what? I want to change my style of riding now. So I was like, time to look at some other stuff. So I started looking at custom bikes. Uh, I was thinking, oh, you know, it'd be so cool if I could do my own custom bike. Um, but it was never going to happen. So I was like, right, I need to buy something that, that's got everything that I want and I can chuck an exhaust system on it. Uh, so I went along to Harley Davidson and I bought a Harley Davidson Sportster 48. Um, I put some Vance and Hines short shots on it. I did a stage one upgrade and it was a fantastic bike. It had so much character. Uh, you'd go down, go down the street and it would just be popping and banging and it, literally on a, on a slight downhill gradient um, at about 30 miles an hour, the exhaust was, was just shotgunning. It was like bang, bang, bang. <laughs> so funny. And uh, a tad antisocial maybe, but it was, it was a good laugh nonetheless. Um, and anyway, uh, halfway through my ownership of the Harley, I started thinking to myself, oh shit, I really miss my Triumph. And um, I was like, do you know what, I don't really want to go down the sports bike route again. Uh, I'd like something sort of slightly more comfortable. So I started looking at their naked bikes and, um, and I ended up purchasing this uh, special edition, uh, which is the Street Triple RX. 
and it comes with this lovely aluminium matte silver paint. Um, it's got Diablo red wheels, uh, red accents on the bodywork. It automatically comes with a, a well, a standard it comes with a quick shifter, um, which I'm a big fan of. Obviously, I had that on my first bike, and yeah, I just it just had everything I, I wanted from a bike really. Test rode it, and it was just so it's just so comfortable. Um, I mean, compared to the to the Daytona, uh, which any of you who know who rides sports bikes, you tend to because you, your weight's on your wrists, it's it's a bit of a pressure point. And after you've been riding for for a, a few hours, it's uh, it's quite painful. And I didn't I didn't really want that anymore. I wanted I wanted a bike that ticked tick the boxes and I wanted to do long journeys on it, long bike trips. I had a plan to go through France, ride down to the south of France. So I needed something that had some some luggage space, if you can call that, that luggage space on a bike. And luckily I when I bought the RX they uh, Triumph had a, a fifteen hundred pounds um, accessory contribution. And I ended up kitting it out with some bar nice bar end mirrors, um, which I think in increases visibility, uh, and they just look cool. And um, I also went for a sports tail pack, which is luggage, um, so that's really handy. The other thing I absolutely loved about the RX is it shares the tail from the Daytona 675R, so it's got a sports bike look at the back of it. And I just think it looked really clean, it looked awesome. Fantastic bike, sounds amazing. Again, 675cc, 105 brake horsepower, 85 newton meters of torque. Um, it's, it's plenty fast enough for me on the road and I've, I've been lucky enough to experience uh, a, a few bikes. Um, one in particular, my brother's Ducati 1199 uh, Panigale Tricolori edition. Sorry, getting a bit excited, and um, I'm not comparing it. I'm not comparing this against that because that is a super bike. It's phenomenal. Um, but one of the things I liked about the RX is you could just access more, more of its performance on the road, um, and and I just like that. I, I just thought it was good. Um, so one of the other things I bought uh, with the accessory pack was a uh, was heated hand grips because I am a sissy. I am not a hardcore biker by any means, and uh, I, I love it, to ride my bike as much as I can all year round. And when it gets into the winter period and my hands are basically ice blocks, it's fucking great to push a button and have some warmth. And uh, actually, has two modes. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it, accessory-wise, that I went for. Um, it's got a three-into-one uh, exhaust system, uh, mine standards. Um, I've been looking at some exhaust options, but you know, again, that's something I want to do in the near future. Um, I've owned this this RX now for for a year, and I ran it alongside the Harley, and um, they were a great two-bike setup, but. I ended up selling the Harley because I just never used it. Quick shift for opportunity! 12,000 RPM! <laughs> oh, it's just oh, it's such a fantastic feeling. It's mental, absolutely mental. Uh, for those of you that haven't experienced a bike before, and if you've been lucky enough to experience a, 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 a fast car on the road, I, I've got to say, bike performance just, it, it gives you so much more adrenaline. And particularly, a fantastic sound! <laughs> I've got to be sensible, Johnny. I'll, I'll just do this bit. <laughs> oh, the quick shifter is so good. Oh, one, one of the things I love about the quick shifter is, best way of describing it is it's like dual clutch. 
dual clutch gearbox in cars it's just it's slick it's smooth you do not feel that gear change and it's fast as well and no I don't ride my bike to try and shave tenths of seconds off my journey home I, it, it's just the sheer pleasure of it really and you can do it halfway up the revs and you get a slight little jolt if you uh, if you change lower down but you know it's, it's, it's still good still feels really good um, performance on this bike as I said earlier it's more than enough for me uh, handling is fantastic I, I just feel so confident it is confidence inspiring it's an easy bike to ride uh, it's, it's comfortable and I've, I've just I've just been extremely happy with it and, and being a year in now and, and it being my only bike because it just seemed to fit everything I wanted it to do and I'm still enjoying it now I haven't done an exhaust system yet and for me I'm the type of person where if I start driving something or riding something and and it doesn't sound as good as I wanted it to I immediately change the exhaust system and I think that you know that shows that the, the RX sounds fantastic just stock because uh, I still haven't done it a year down the line and I, I know it's something I do want to do but I just don't want it to be one of those bikes where it's tr too intrusive I don't want I don't want any sort of like too much drone going on because it is it sounds great when you when you go for it <laughs> triple engine it's phenomenal I mean you've got, you've got good mid-range torque I mean I'm doing 45 now in fourth gear and it, oh, <laughs> that sound is so good it's very easy to get overexcited on a bike and I'm very aware of all the dangers. I've also done a couple of a couple of courses. Um, I've done an off-road bike course in southern Wales, which was absolutely insane. The other thing I've done is uh, do the CBR 600 Ron Haslam Day at Donington Park. Um, that was awesome. I, it, one of those days where. If you want to enjoy the performance of a bike, do it in a safe environment. Go on a circuit where you've got some runoffs, and uh, and and yeah, just just you know, start to get that feeling of what the bike is like when you're when you're at a, a steep angle. You know what what it's like to handle when your knee is is almost on the floor, and and you can't do that on the road, and you should never be at that angle. Uh, but on the circuit, it's it's a good feeling, and it, and and when you when you get back on the road, it's nice to know what that feels like. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this bike video and, and if you want to see more. Uh, I think it'd be pretty awesome if my brother Matt could do a do a, a, a sort of quick review of the Ducati 1199 Panigale Tricolori edition. <laughs> One of the longest names in the world. Um, please remember to like the video and of course subscribe! Catch you later guys!